Would you go to a desert for a vacation? I don't. The, the desert is not a place to live, it's not a place to, to tour. In those days, people were passing by the desert to go from one place to the other place. Now that we have the airplanes, nobody goes to the desert. God wants to give the Torah. He wants to give the Torah in the desert, He gave the Torah in the desert. But why make a big deal out of it? This week's parasha, the name of the parasha is Bamidbar, desert. Not only that, we always, we always gonna read this parasha right before the holidays of Shavuot. Have a big connection between the Torah and the desert and we need to understand what is this deep meaning out of it. What is the lesson that we can take from it? Also, I want to understand why the Jewish calendar going according to the moon and not according to the sun. Sun is more stable. The moon is not stable. One or two, three years, we make 13 months for a year because we need to catch up. Why can't we do 12 months, settle, and that's it? The answer is that the moon is symbolized the Jewish people. When the Jewish people went out of Egypt, it was very small, and till Mashiach will come, we will be very small. And the same way that a moon in the beginning is very small and eventually become big in the 15th of the month, the Jewish people when Mashiach will come, they will be big again. And also every Jew have this process. When the Neshama, the soul of the person, next to God before she come to the world, she's perfect. And then she come to the world, to a physical body, a physical world, and the process is very slow. In the beginning, it's nothing. The body is very strong. The body is the one that controls. And slowly, slowly, the person work on himself and make himself and his surround and the world better and that's where the moon become full so this is a lesson for the mission that we have the same like the moon and that's why god mentioned it over and over that the torah got in the desert because before matan torah the spiritual and the physical was two separate things for example yaakov avinu used to put fill in every day not with real fill in with sticks after he finished the spiritual prayers he would able to throw the sticks to the garbage. The spirituality would not affect the physical. When God gave the Torah, He told us, don't kill, don't steal. That's why we need God to come to the world to tell us, don't kill and don't steal. We know that. The answer is God came to the world. He broke the ice. He broke the limit between the spiritual and the physical. And He gave us the beginning of a mission to bring spirituality in the world. And that's why He brought in the desert the Torah. The holy thing he made in the desert. The desert symbolized there is snakes. Nobody lives in the desert. Nobody tour in the desert. And over there he wanted to make a place for the Torah. It shows us that even in the impossible, we can make it for a garden. And God gave us a lesson to the rest of the life till Mashiach will come. That any place that you can call it a desert... Of course, it's not going to be a desert, but today if somebody goes to a place that there is no kasher, there is no synagogue, there is no spiritual things, he would say it's like a desert. You cannot use it for excuse not to do what is written in the Torah. God gave the Torah in the desert. All the spiritual things that we learned from the Torah, all the guide that we got from the Torah was in the desert to show that there is no limit for the Torah. The Torah can affect even a place that nobody be able to live. So when you live in your life and you have a difficulty in places that Torah don't go there, and you would say, here the Torah cannot be. It's not a place for the Torah. There's not such a thing. The Torah is everywhere. And imagine when you buy a machine, you open the box and then you have the paper, the booklet to learn how to use the machine. Before God created the world, he created a book to write down how the world will function. And this book is the Torah. So if you want to know how to use this machine with all the functions, you should learn Torah and learn how to behave good in the world and how to survive and how to use the potential of the world, the maximum. So when you have difficulty, you don't say the Torah is for the synagogue. The Torah is for the special holidays. It's not for my daily life. It's not true. The Torah came to the world to make the world better. And we have a mission to make from the spiritual something real, part of the physical. And there is no limit for that. And through the Torah that we got from Hashem, 
He gave us the potential and the possibility to do it. So use your talent and make the world better.